A typical swamp foraging trip includes hunting for fish and frogs and harvesting local plants and berries. The ferns here we have are the giant leather fern. They're in the fiddlehead fern family, and they are edible, uh, and they taste much like an asparagus fern. The young growth, where it's still somewhat curled over, like what we have here, is edible. You simply snap it off, and it can be eaten raw. It's very good, blanched. I prefer it grilled, personally. This is just a portion of it. I don't have the whole thing. One root, when it's dry, pulverized down to powder, would create a big pot of anything. Life here is about survival. If you don't know how to survive in this environment, you shouldn't attempt to live here. But the land that their family has relied on for five generations is in trouble. Unfortunately, my children will likely never see the wildlife like I did growing up. Everglades National Park is listed as one of UNESCO's most threatened world heritage sites. Locals believe that since the 1980s, this area has lost 80% of its wildlife. High water, created by a flood control project in 1948, has drowned the Everglades marsh, making it almost impossible for plants and animals to survive. Man shouldn't be attempting to control Mother Nature's schedule. That's why the wildlife are in all-time record low numbers. The Jones brothers were raised by their grandparents on a fishing camp in the middle of the swamp. We had somewhat of a, uh, you know, a fairy tale childhood growing up. We always liken it to, you know, Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer, only better, because we got to live it for real. The twins grew up with a deep connection to the land and all its wildlife. They even share their home with two resident alligators. So here in my backyard, we have an alligator that we call Elvis. This is the alpha male in this particular part. Uh, this is his pond back here, and this is him. Say hi, boy. Come on, Elvis. Here he comes. This one really likes his ears rubbed a lot. While Elvis rules the back of the house, a gator called Sneaky Pete guards the front. He was rescued by the brothers after a near fatal run-in with another alligator. Now, he won't leave. <laughs> 